Dr. Scott Thompson is joining me now from Utah Facial Plastics, and we are talking about the top hair transplant techniques, and there are really two main ones, Dr. Thompson. That's correct. Um, there's a, a kind of a traditional technique called FUT or strip, and that's where we remove a strip of hair from back here, and then we just cut it up into individual hair follicles and transplant it. Um, that's a great technique, but it does leave a scar on the back of the head. Um, and then the other technique is called FUE, follicular unit extraction, where we actually remove each hair follicle individually from a kind of a scattered checkerboard pattern back here and then move them to the front. How popular or successful are either one? They're both great techniques and, and you know it, it kind of just depends on what each patient is looking for. If you're someone that that cuts your hair really short, you may not want that linear scar, then the other option may be better. And sometimes uh, we can get more grafts from the strip method, so it just kind of depends. Each, each person is, um, I guess, evaluated individually. Is there an ideal candidate out there for one or the other or both? I think anybody is um, a candidate for discussion. Now, if you're 20, two years old and you've lost all your hair, you're probably not a good candidate for hair transplant surgery because you probably don't have a lot of donor material. Or even if you're thinning and you're 25, we kind of want to see what's going to happen. You only have a certain amount of hair back here that can be used, and so we have to be judicious in how we do that. Are the results permanent? Yes, the results are permanent. Now, you'll continue to lose the hair up here that you're you're losing already. There are medications that can help to slow that down, but typically the hair that's moved from back here to the front uh, doesn't go away. This is so frustrating for so many people. Millions of Americans, 56 million Americans, deal with hair loss. If you have questions about either procedure, this is such a great place, Dr. Scott Thompson, to go to. Please go to goodforutah.com extra for all the information. Thank you.